Hi everybody, welcome back to a brand new week of home learning. So this is our first of our reading home learning for this week. There'll be two different reading home learning videos for you to have a look at. OK, so this week we're going to have a look at some information about Georgia O'Keeffe. So it's in two parts. So you'll need to pause the video here while you read this first little bit about Georgia O'Keeffe. And then I'll put it on to the second part and then we'll have a look at the questions. So pause the video and read the first part. OK. So let's have a look at the other information about Georgia O'Keeffe. Pause the video while you read this last little bit about her. OK, so now you've read all of that information about Georgia O'Keeffe, you will be able to have a go at these five questions. They're all nice, straightforward ones where you just have to choose some of the answers and it tells you whether you need to choose two or one each time. OK, so if you use the information in the text that we've just read to help you, you can choose those question answers. OK, pause the video while you have a go at that. OK, let's have a look at the answers. So first one, which of these things did Georgia paint? And it told us to tick two. It says Georgia was a famous American artist. She painted flowers, buildings and animal bones. So you should have chosen buildings and animal bones for your answer. She doesn't paint cars. Where did Georgia live when she was a child? Tick one. Early life. Georgia was born on the 15th of November 1887. She lived on a farm. By the age of 10, Georgia wanted to be an artist. So it said that she lived on a farm when she was a child, so you should have highlighted farm there. Number three, Georgia painted flowers in a something way. Tick one word to complete the sentence. Flowers, Georgia liked flowers, so she painted lots of them. She painted them in a new way. Her flowers were big and bright. Lots of people wanted to buy her paintings. So it told us that she painted them in a new way. So you should have chosen new. Number four, what size were George's paintings? Tick one. It, her paintings were big. Well, she painted big skyscrapers. Georgia lived in a busy city called New York and she liked the tall buildings there. She painted big skyscrapers and people liked these paintings too. So she made big paintings. Number five, how long did Georgia live for? Tick one. Georgia's life. Georgia lived until she was 98 years old. She is remembered as a great American artist. So 98 was your answer. Well done if you got those ones. And you might need that information about Georgia O'Keeffe during this week. OK, let's have a look at another one. Cat in the Witch's Woods. OK, so a little bit of a story for you this time. So pause the video while you read the story and then you can have a look at the questions. OK, let's have a look at the questions now. So you've got four questions. We've got four questions for you to have a look at. See if you can answer those questions. Pause the video while you have a go at those. OK, let's have a look at the answers. We'll read the story first. The Cat in the Witch's Woods. Once upon a time, there was a girl and her wicked stepmother. The stepmother dreamt of nothing but how she could get rid of her stepdaughter. One day, an evil idea came into her head and she sent the girl out into the great gloomy wood where a wicked witch lived. After months of misery, the girl stumbled across a grey cat in the bleak woods. How can I escape the witch? she asked the cat. He gave her two items. Throw this handkerchief on the ground and run as fast as you can, he said. Whenever it touches the ground, a deep, broad river will appear. If the witch manages to get across it, throw this comb behind you and run for your life. Wherever the comb falls, a dense forest will grow and trap the witch forever. OK, so let's have a look at the answers. 
So the first one, which two objects did the cat give to the girl? Well, a handkerchief and a comb. Number two, find and copy two adjectives which describe the witch's woods. You can choose from any of these three that I've chosen here. You only need two. Great, gloomy, bleak. Number three, why do you think the girl experienced months of misery? Well, misery means that she was really miserable. She's really, really upset and didn't like it there. And that's because the witch was horrible to her. She missed her home. And of course, the woods were not a nice place to be. So if you've got any of those answers, that would be great. Number four, what do you think the girl did next? Well, she'd been given those things to try and escape. So she would probably run through the woods and try to escape using the things that the cat gave her. And so that the witch got trapped forever. OK, well done with those ones. Have a look out for the second video this week of reading. We'll be doing another one of these comprehensions and then I'll be setting you a few reading challenges. OK, bye for now.